Although Cleantech laser cleaning products are a safe, eco-friendly, and cost-effective replacement to traditional blasting and chemical etching processes, like any industrial piece of equipment, laser machinery can be dangerous, which is why it's important to practice proper safety procedures when operating not just Cleantech products, but any laser equipment. The first thing to understand when working with lasers is what class of laser system you're working with. The safety requirements will change depending on whether the equipment is a class 1 laser or a class 4 laser. Lasers are classified into different categories based on their potential to cause injury to both the eyes and skin. In general, the more hazardous a laser, the higher its class rating will be. Class 1 lasers are generally safe to view with the naked eyes. Class 2 lasers are where they start to pose a risk to operators. Exposure to a class 2 laser for even just a fourth of a second can cause damage to the eyes. Class 3 laser exposure of any kind, including a reflected beam, can cause damage to the eyes. And class 4 laser exposure is extremely dangerous and will cause eye damage and can instantly burn skin that is exposed to the laser. It's important to note that within each main classification of laser, there are subclassifications such as class 3R or class 3B. While the specific safety recommendations for each subclass may differ, Operators can ensure their safety by following these safety recommendations laid out by the main classification. So, what is required to safely operate a Cleantech laser cleaning product? We always recommend deferring to your facility's laser safety officer for your specific situation, but generally, you only need three things to be up and running with a laser cleaning product. Firstly, the operator needs to be wearing laser safety goggles. These special lenses block out harmful light waves and protect the user's eye from damage, even when using class 4 lasers. Laser safety goggles come in a variety of styles, but the key factor that determines how effective they are at filtering light is called optical density. To determine the level of protection needed for a specific laser cleaning product, you should refer to the recommended optical density, or OD, found inside your laser manual. If you plan on using the laser in an open area where non-operators may be passing by, we recommend installing laser safety barriers around the location to prevent any harm from occurring to people in the area. And finally, we recommend having some sort of fume extraction system. Although our Cleantech products don't create any hazardous fumes on their own, oftentimes the material being cleaned will create smoke, fumes, or other airborne particulates that could be unsafe to breathe. A fume extraction system will not only keep the air clean for the operator, but it will also extend the life of your Cleantech product by helping ensure the lens on the handheld laser emitter remains clear and free of debris. Although not necessary, an operator may choose to wear heat-resistant gloves when using a laser. This will help prevent any accidental skin exposure and also prevent burns from happening when end users handle material that has been exposed to the laser for a lengthy period of time. It's important to note that all Cleantech lasers are class 4 lasers. However, we offer solutions to place them in a laser safety enclosure that converts them into a class 1 product, like in the case of our Cleantech laser blasting cabinet. As technology improves, we continue to prioritize the well-being of the operator. We've already begun to develop ways to incorporate artificial intelligence into our laser systems to create a complete turnkey laser cleaning solution. For more information on Cleantech products and how they can be customized to fit your needs, visit us online at laserphotonics.com and speak with one of our laser experts.